all right i hope uh, everyone can hear me now today we will be learning uh, the story my big brother okay and uh, this is in the syllabus of class 9 okay so this is in the syllabus of class 9 and the video is going to be very important please pay attention and you can keep your textbooks in front of you all of you okay let us start the video very fast all right now the my big brother which is in the syllabus of class 9 okay english all right this is in the english syllabus of class 9 and without much delay let us start the video today all right now full explanation okay and i'll be using both hindi and english though english i will use uh, more than hindi but i'll be using hindi also at times okay so basically the story has two characters big brother and younger brother now one thing to notice here is that the story does not contain any other characters and there are no names okay names of characters have not been given okay names of characters have not been given so only big brother and younger brother are the two characters in the story and they are the main characters the story revolves around these two characters only ye jo kahani hai ye yahi do characters ke upar uh, base kiya gaya hai theek so now here you can see that the story has two characters big brother and younger brother both are away from their parents studying in hostel so dono jo hai both are actually studying outside and they were they are uh, both of them are away from their parents because they are studying in hostel okay the big brother is five years older than the younger brother but the big brother is senior by only three classes or three grades so basically the big brothers the dif age difference between the big brother and the younger brother is five years only five years difference okay big brother is five years elder to the younger brother but in terms of grades or in terms of class the big brother is only three classes junior okay teen class ya yeah, teen grade se difference hai dono bhai mein theek hai okay here you see why this is this is because he had matlab he here is the big brother because here the big brother actually had failed two times in the same class right or wrong okay if there is five years difference between the two brothers but only three grades or three classes difference between the two that means the big brother had failed two times in the same class okay that is why uh, this three years of grades difference in grades and five years of age difference is there between the two brothers now see here according to the big brother now why does he fail what justification or what explanation does he give that why do i fail okay he says that the big brother says that i don't fail because i am weak in studies so the big, big brother does not fail because he is weak in studies but because he wants to get promotion very slowly to isliye nahi kyunki jo bada bhai hai wo isliye fail nahi hota kyunki wo studies mein weak hai because he is stupid okay because he is weak in studies not because of that but because he takes education very seriously and he wants to get promotion slowly because he wants to learn the subjects very nicely step by step and he wants to get a very in depth knowledge we call it in depth in depth in the sense in depth matlab deeper knowledge of each and every subject mathematics english english grammar hindi geography history he wants geometry he wants to actually get a very deeper knowledge about the subjects and that he feels is not possible by one year of learning so that is why he fails two three times in the same class and he explains what explanation does he give he gives the explanation that education is a very important thing and that is why i don't want to neglect education and i don't want to get promoted uh, you know very fast i want to learn each and every subject in detail that is why i fail in one class okay this is the excuse that the big brother gives now if somebody fails and this is the kind of excuse that he or she gives so you, it it's actually a very funny thing right so he wants to learn everything in detail that is why he stays in the same class for two years so this is what i just said that he wants to learn everything in detail all the subjects in detail that is why he stays in the class for same class for two years sometimes even three years old okay now according to him see look at the explanation that he gives again he says that 
a building can only become strong if the foundation is firm firm matlab firm here is again strong so a building can only become strong if the foundation the foundation is very strong so education is that foundation if i want to build a very good career then this education is that foundation which will build my career and i take education very seriously and that is why i want to learn all the subjects in detail that is why i fail i remain in the same class for 2 years and sometimes he even failed in the same class for 3 times also you can just imagine that uh, what kind of justification i would say it's a very funny justification that he gives okay this is not a reason to fail right because when syllabus framer those who pay, uh, frame our syllabus those who make our syllabus when they make school syllabus or college syllabus or university syllabus they always keep in mind that these 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 topics to be included and these are topics that has to be done that has to be completed or that can be completed within one year only okay it is not then uh, it is not that they give 40 50 lessons and that you have to complete in one year it's not like that okay syllabus is set keeping in mind the time frame also that how many periods are needed to cover one story how many periods needed to cover one poem so accordingly they set the lessons or the chapters right the big brother was now here i made a mistake in typing actually the big brother was 14 years old and the younger brother was 9 years old bada bhai 14 saal ka hai aur chhota bhai 9 saal ka to 5 years difference between the two brothers okay 5 years age difference you have to say 5 years age difference between the two brothers remember their age for choose the correct answers short answers fill in the blanks okay remember the age the big brother was 14 years old and the younger brother was 9 years old so 5 years age difference but how many class difference when the story begins so what is the class or grade difference it's only 3 years of difference in their grades okay 3 years of grade difference all right okay then let me just put it write it down here 3 years of grades difference okay and 5 years this will be 14 years okay i made a mistake here and this will be 9 years remember this okay now let's move on to the next section the big brother would sit with an open book and pen the whole day he was very weak i uh, am sorry he was very studious now look at the way the big brother used to study he would be sitting with a book and a pen whole day and if somebody saw him he would immediately have the impression that the big brother is a very studious uh, boy and he is very studious by nature very intellectual anybody would think obviously if you sit with a book in your hand the whole day and after that if you fail in the exam what justification does it mean right so the big brother would sit with the with an open book or pen whole day and he seemed to be very studious sometimes to rest his brain he would draw pictures of birds or cats in the margin of his notebook to kabhi kabhi brain ko thoda sa rest dene ke liye sometimes to rest his brain what he would do is that he would draw pictures of birds kabhi kabhi wo billiyon ka picture draw karta hai kabhi birds ka pictures draw karta hai where in the margin okay this is the margin of a note copy and here he would draw pictures of birds okay and sometimes pictures of cats right like that my cat is not so good <laughs> anyways pictures of birds or cats in the margin of his ma- margin of his notebook sometimes he would write a name sometimes he would write name or a word or a sentence 10 or 20 times so just randomly he would be writing a sentence or a word okay or simply a name of somebody okay for 10 to 20 times just like that only there is no reason for this he would just randomly go on writing and writing and writing for 10 to 20 times like you have in your book amina brothers special amina brothers radhe sham you know etc etc he would be just going on writing randomly which did not make any sense and why did he do this to rest his brain if question asks uh, if question is asked that why did he draw pictures of birds or cats in the margin of his notebook why did he write names or why did he write words or sentences for 10 to 20 times you can write that the reason is to rest his brain he would do all these things he would also write two line poem sometimes he would write a couplet two line poem means a couplet sometimes he would write a couplet just like that only randomly he would write a couplet okay a two line poem in beautiful handwriting calligraphy beautiful handwriting which again made no sense at all okay like say for example you are studying mathematics and in order to rest your brain 
you are writing a poem that will not make any sense right so the big brother would do this also now the younger brother once saw to ek din kya hua ki the younger brother was just passing by his big brother's table and big brother was not present there okay and the notebook was open so the big brother uh, the younger brother was passing by and suddenly he looked at the copy of the a copy of his big brother and he saw the drawing of a man's face after seeing that face and it was a man's face okay and after seeing that face the younger brother did not understand anything i mean it went over his head he did not understand anything uske sar pe upar se uth gaya chhota bhai usne jab dekha ek aadmi ka chehra draw kiya hua hai to wo bahut der dekhta raha bahut der tak wo dekhta raha the younger brother kept looking at the copy trying to understand what this man's face is all about but the younger brother did not understand anything so at the end the younger brother came to the uh, conclusion that my big brother because he is very genius so understanding his the way he drew cats or birds the way he uh, wrote uh, you know names words sentences 10 to 20 times sometimes he wrote two line poems and on top of that when the younger brother saw the man's face the younger brother came to the conclusion that understanding these kind of writings or drawings is beyond my understanding ठीक है ये सब समझना मेरी बस की बात नहीं है माई बिग ब्रदर मे बी माई बिग ब्रदर इज हाईली इंटेलेक्चुअल एंड आई एम नॉट टू इंटेलेक्चुअल दैट इज वाई आई कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड ऑल दिस थिंग सो यंगर ब्रदर वुड कम टू दिस कंक्लूजन नाउ सिंस द बिग ब्रदर वॉज इन क्लास नाइन एंड द यंगर ब्रदर वॉज इन क्लास सिक्स आई टोल्ड यू दैट देर इज सिक्स ओनली थ्री इयर्स ऑफ क्लास डिफरेंस सो बिग ब्रदर इज इन क्लास नाइन यंगर ब्रदर इज इन क्लास सिक्स नाउ बिग ब्रदर शुड हैव बीन इन क्लास वॉट इलेवन राइट द बिग ब्रदर शुड हैव बीन इन क्लास इलेवन इफ देर इज फाइव इयर्स एज डिफरेंस but because he failed two times in the same class so now the big brother is in class 9 and the young brother is in class 6 when the story opens okay when the story opens the big brother is in class 9 and the young brother is in class 6 so he dared not ask anything to his elder brother to chota bhai he respected his big brother very much okay unlike today unlike today where younger brothers maximum or most of the younger brothers don't respect their elder sisters or elder brothers or younger sisters not respecting their elder brothers or elder sisters unlike today when munshi premchand wrote the story at that time big big brothers were considered to be fathers actually big brothers were like father type okay so out of respect the younger brother never asked anything to his elder brother that uh, why do you write a two line poem why do you draw cats and uh, birds why do you write names words sentences 10 to 20 times Uh, this uh, younger brother never had the courage kabhi uske andar ye courage paida nahi hua ki apne bade bhai se wo pooch sake wo darta tha he was afraid of his big brother the younger brother thought that drawings and writings of the big brother were beyond his understanding that is what i just explained you that younger brother thought that my big brother was maybe too highly intellectual and understanding his drawings and writings is beyond my understanding mere samajh ke bahar hai bilkul तो डर के मारे वो बेचारा पूछता भी नहीं था अपने एल्डर ब्रदर से कि आपने क्या लिखा है क्या ड्रॉ किया है अब यंगर ब्रदर का कैरेक्टर देखते लेट अस लुक एट द कैरेक्टर ऑफ द यंगर ब्रदर नेचर ऑफ द यंगर ब्रदर द यंगर ब्रदर इज जस्ट द ऑपोजिट यंगर ब्रदर बिल्कुल अपने बड़े भाई से ऑपोजिट है इज जस्ट ऑपोजिट टू हिज एल्डर ब्रदर इन वॉट वेज ही नेवर ही वुड नेवर सेट विथ हिज कॉपीज और पेन्स और बुक्स होल्ड डे इंस्टेड ही एंजॉय प्लेइंग विथ फ्रेंड्स फ्लाइंग काइट्स प्लेइंग मार्बल्स jumping from the courtyard wall etc etc so his mind was younger brother's mind was always in the field playing with friends meeting some friends flying kites playing marbles jumping from the courtyard wall etc etc okay he would do all these things playing gilli danda okay he would do all these things he could never study for long hours like the big brother now the big brother would whole day he would sit with a book copy pen but the younger brother could never do this he would never study for long hours whenever the younger brother would see outside the window the green fields or you know boys playing outside this younger brother always got attracted by that so he could not resist that okay right so he could never sit for longer hours now as soon as the younger brother would return home after playing outside his elder brother would welcome him with scoldings okay as उस जमाने में दैट टाइम ओके बिग ब्रदर्स एज आई टोल्ड यू वेर लाइक फादर फिगर्स ओके तो वेन एवर द यंगर ब्रदर वुड कम होम आफ्टर प्लेइंग फ्रॉम आउटसाइड हिज एल्डर ब्रदर वुड बी रेडी टू वेलकम हिम विथ स्कोल्डिंग्स 
that um, whole day you are playing outside you are not studying uh, study hard or you will fail our parents are wasting money uh, you know uh, they are spending a lot of money and they are wasting money on you huh? and these and these this big brother would scold the younger brother but uh, the younger brother respected him and so he remained silent unlike again i uh, would like to repeat that unlike today where if the big brother would scold the younger brother the younger brother would go and just punch him how dare you scold me uh, who gave you the right to scold me i am independent i have the freedom to play you do your own work no the younger brother respected his big brother that is why he remained silent chupchap he would you know bow down and just go on listening to his elder brothers scolding wo apne bade bhai ki jo hai galiya wo sunta jata tha wo kuch nahi bolta tha the big brother would scold him for wasting his time in games and often gave his own example to bada bhai jo hai big big brother would always scold him that you are wasting your time in games you are not studying at all in this way you will not pass you will not do good results our parents are wasting money uh, you know on you so concentrate on studies look at me look at me i study the whole day you know he would give his example big brother would give his own example you see i would study whole day i never go out to play even i also wish to play see those boys and girls who are playing outside even i used to go out and even i wish to play outside mujhe bhi khelne ka man karta hai lekin main serious i am serious with my studies and i never get attracted to games and sports i always concentrate in studies so you should be like me mere jaise bano sara din paro and younger brother would simply bow down his head and listen to him kya karega bara bhai hai the big brother the big brother would scold him for not studying english properly to bara bhai usko scold karta tha that you are very poor in english the way you are studying english this is not the way to study english you to, you should study english very nicely because there are english grammar is also okay english uh, prose poetry so many things are there you are not studying english poetry you are not studying english prose okay study properly then the big brother would also scold him for playing gilli danda the whole day you are playing gilli danda outside and eh? you are not studying at all look at me i study whole day and thereby he would say that our father is uh, you know wasting money on you and that is our father's hard earned money mehnat ka kamaya hua paisa wo tumhe barbaad kar raha hai is wasting your money on you you should respect our father that he is working so hard earning money after struggles and he is spending his money on us so we we should be serious and we are living in hostel we are not with our parents also and our parents are expecting so much from us you know blah 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 too many scoldings lectures and lectures and lectures all right and after hearing all these scoldings the younger brother would start crying all right so many scoldings in a day he would start crying okay and he sometimes thought of going back home to his parents so chota bhai younger brother would sometimes think that hey, this is so much torture i will go back home okay this is torture big brother is doing torture on me he sometimes felt that mai ghar wapas jaunga i will go back home to my parents i cannot bear this tortures anymore so sometimes he thought of going home now before exams the younger brother would always prepare a routine for study now this is what why the younger brother this is the difference between the younger brother and the elder brother and we will see now okay i don't want to reveal everything now let us go on with the story i will reveal you i'll tell you before exams jab exam aata tha before exams the younger brother would always prepare a routine for study that is why i always tell my students also be always prepare a routine for your study like from morning 5 to 6 i'll study mathematics from 6 to 7 english from 7 to 8 if you have time there are many schools where uh, which starts at 9 am so you have to get ready accordingly okay so evening time say 4 to 5 uh, i'll study uh, geography 5 to 6 i'll study this okay so routine you prepare for it so big brother younger brother younger brother would always prepare a routine for study and in that routine he would never include sports or games so sports and games would be completely absent from his routine would be completely missing from his routine wo kabhi apne routine mein sports or games include nahi karta tha but ultimately he is a small boy no studying in class 6 so whenever he would see the green playground outside and those boys playing outside he could never resist himself and immediately he would go out to play to chhota hai wo class 6 ka ek ladka bachcha hai wo kab jab bahar dekhta tha green playground mujhe invite kar raha hai the green playground outside is inviting me those boys who are playing marbles gilli danda cricket flying kites all these attract him so much as if inviting him ke aao come come with us and play he could never resist himself wo apne aap ko rok nahi pata 
and immediately he would close his books and copies and go outside to play. Again, after returning back to the hostel, the big brother would be ready with his rebukes. Rebukes matlab scoldings. Okay, rebuke matlab scoldings. So, jab wo khel ke wapas aata tha, to bara bhai fir se ready with his lectures. Okay, and again the younger brother would start crying. Now, exams got over. Exam results were declared. This is a very interesting thing to note. The younger brother had stood first. While the big brother had failed again. So results declared ho gaya. Chota bhai class mein first aya. He stood first in the class. Younger brother and big brother as usual failed. See after studying whole day also the uh, big brother failed. And look at the younger brother. He would play also. He would study also. He had a strategy. This is That is what I say. That is a planning, a strategy. That games and sports are very important. All work and no play makes jack a dull boy so you you must you know play games and sports also it, it is necessary okay but along with that you must be prepared with your lessons also younger brother was like that all rounder kind of a boy okay now you see after the big brother failed there was now only two years class difference age was growing but class is like coming down falling down so now there was only Two years of class difference. Now, if the say, for example, in the beginning we learned that the uh, younger brother was in class six and the big brother was in class nine. Now, what is the situation? The younger brother was promoted to class seven and the big brother, the younger brother was promoted to class seven and the big brother failed and he was in class nine only. So only two years difference, right? So there there was only two years class or grade difference between the two brothers. Now you see the younger brother was like ready. Ah, he used to insult me so much, na. Now, so the younger brother felt like insulting back his elder brother for all the scoldings that he received from his big brother. But again, then when he saw the face of his big brother, you know, after he failed, the big brother became very depressed and sad. So the younger brother felt very bad. Okay, so he felt very bad for his elder brother who was very depressed. So bara bhai jo hai, bahut dukhi rehta tha. क्योंकि वो उसने फेल किया क्लास में तो नेचुरली द यंगर ब्रदर फेल वेरी बैड ओके एंड से लो हो माय बिग ब्रदर फेल इन द क्लास एंड दिस इज नॉट गुड ओके ऑल दिस थिंग्स ही वुड फील एंड देन द रिवेंज थिंग वुड गो आउट ऑफ हिस माइंड उसका उसके दिल में जो बदला जो था ना दैट दैट बदले की आग जो था उसके अंदर कि मुझे इतना गालियां दिया तुमने ओके यू स्कोल्डेड मी सो मच नाउ इट इज माय टर्न दैट आई विल स्कोल्ड यू सी यू स्टडी होल डे बट यू फेल बट देन when he saw the big brother's face that depression wala face the younger brother became soft and he felt ba- actually bad okay and then again the younger brother went out to play he stood first no he is happy so the younger brother would again go out to play gilli danda some other games now this went on for some days now you will see the big brother did not scold the younger brother for playing games because big brother himself was depressed big brother khud hi itna dukhi hai ki bechara wo kuch nahi bolta tha छोटा भाई उसका बाहर खेलता था गिल्ली डंडा अदर गेम्स ही वुड प्ले आउटसाइड कम बैक होम दिस वेंट ऑन फॉर सम डेज द बिग ब्रदर नेवर स्कोल्ड इट नाउ ही हिमसेल्फ वाज डिप्रेस्ड बट वन डे वन डे अंटिल वन डे द बिग ब्रदर स्कोल्डेड हिम वन सेकंड अब कुछ दिन बीत गया बिग ब्रदर अगेन केम बैक टू हिज ओल्ड फॉर्म ओके वो अपने ओल्ड फॉर्म में फिर से आ गया और वो गालियां देना शुरू कर दिया अपने छोटे भाई को ही स्टार्टेड स्कोल्डिंग इज यंगर ब्रदर and what did he say he told the younger brother that he had become too proud because he had stood first now the big brother said oh you stood first no and that is why you became too proud ha huh? this is not good and the big brother now gave the example of ravan who was known as the ruler of the world but ultimately pride destroyed him so big brother now went on to see big brother was very good in giving big big lectures big brother big lectures and the big big lectures he used to give okay and see what he said the big brother told his younger brother that do you know who ravan was ha eh? ravan was the ruler of the world but what destroyed him pride destroyed him ravan had become too proud he kidnapped sita in the mythological story ramayana okay i hope uh, many of you know the story of ramayana right in ramayana what happens is that sita who was the wife of lord rama sita was kidnapped by ravan okay he wanted to prove his power actually prowess or power that is why he kidnapped uh, sita 
okay so ultimately he became very proud at that time okay pride overtook him and that is why that pride actually ultimately destroyed uh, this mighty ruler ravan and this is what the example that the big brother is giving to his younger brother that ravan was destroyed because of his pride so don't become too proudy huh? you have become too ahankari proudy don't become too proud okay because pride has destroyed many big big people and now what was most insulting was that the big brother accused his little brother that he has stood first not because of his performance but because of luck ye sabse insulting yahi tha the big brother insulted his little brother by saying that you did not stand first because of your performance you stood first by chance by luck because of your luck now who stands first because of luck just tell me look at the toppers look at the toppers of our of, of our own exams okay embos exams do you think they get positions rank state ranks or state positions because of luck by chance never it is the hard work the struggle okay because of which they get such a position right or wrong any successful person you see today has a lot of struggles after that only he became successful so it is not luck now a younger brother was like shocked but i stood first and my big brother is telling me that it was not my performance but because of luck but i studied whole day and that too very seriously and my big brother is telling that it is by chance by luck how is it now you see the big brother then went on a big brother khatam nahi hua big brother did not stop he went on okay this is going to be one of the longest lectures the big brother then went on to say that the subjects that his little brother was studying were very difficult all right the big brother said that you see my younger brother the subjects that you are studying history mathematics geometry hindi the english so many subjects that you are studying are all difficult are all difficult you need to take the subjects seriously subjects like history subjects like mathematics subjects like geometry were all difficult and you are taking these serious difficult subjects to be very easy what do you think of yourself then you see he did not stop big brother is not going to stop look at Uh, the accusations that look at the more accusation that he goes on making he also blamed the examiner now not only the younger brother the big brother started blaming the examiners also like many students do actually when students don't get common in the exam they start scolding the examiner these examiners they said all the difficult question papers why can't they said easy question paper eh huh? these and that right so th- this is natural even when i was a student i also used to do this okay yeah, when we did not get uh, common or when question papers were like the questions were difficult see questions never come out of syllabus it always comes from the syllabus only this is sometimes what we forget and what we tend to forget that question is asked on, always from the syllabus now let me tell you about social studies what happened this year okay i'll just stop for the for for the timing and tell you this story uh, uh, a news in shillong times i read a news in shillong times after your social studies exam this year's sslc class 10 matric exams after your uh, uh, social studies exams this news came in the newspaper that social studies question this questions in social studies had come out of the syllabus this is absolutely nonsense because i had contacted many students good students and even from my youtube channel also many students say that no sir it is nothing like that we got everything from the syllabus only questions were twisted and because students are not pre- students were not prepared that is why they could not answer but questions were never out of the syllabus and i also believe the same thing i also believe the same thing that questions never come out of the syllabus it can be twisted now it is because you are under prepared or less prepared that is why students do not get come so now the big brother started blaming now see the big brother is taking it personally why he failed the big brother failed right and now he is taking personally so he started blaming the examiners okay that these examiners eh, they want uh, they only want us to learn word by word without understanding the concept eh, these examiners they want us that we should learn we should memorize things learn word by word means learn word by word means memorize okay the examiners wants us to memorize things eh? without understanding the concept eh? what is the use of understand what what is the use of memorizing if we don't understand the meaning of it and he started he was like bombasting you know throwing bombs on the examiners okay these examiners are also you know, hopeless examiners he started scolding them the big brother said that the younger brother should respect him because he was still elder and had a great experience of the world now the big brother said that you stood first and i failed and that is why you are not respecting me you should respect me 
I failed, but I am still elder to you. I am elder to you. I am five years elder to you. And you should respect me. Because I have more experience of the world than you. Mera tajurba experience tum se paach saal zada hai. I have a great experience, so you should respect me. Or kya hua agar mein fail ho gaya to, mein abhi tum se paach saal bara hu. I am still five years elder to you, so respect me. Hustle, loyalty, respect. John Cena. Okay. So it was almost time for school now. So ab school ka time ho chuka tha. So the big brother had to stop his poldi. And the younger brother said, Hush, thank God that it is now school time. Otherwise my big brother would have just gone and just, you know, would continue and continue and continue his lectures and scoldings. Thank God it is time for school now. He thanked God and he went out. Now again, exams came. Yearly exams came. Again, results were announced. And what happened now, you see? Chamatkar. Magic happened now. What magic? No magic. One second, the younger brother had stood first and the big brother failed. Now, there was only one class difference. Now, the big brother was in class 8 and the younger brother... Uh, I'm sorry, the younger brother was in class 8 and the big brother now... Same class, class 9. So, only one class difference between the two now. Oh my God. This is too much. This is too much. Now you see the younger brother now thought that if his elder brother would fail one more year, then they would be in the same class. So suddenly, you know, one day when the result was announced, so that particular time the younger brother now thought, Acha, if my younger brother would fail one more year, then we will be in the same class. But then suddenly he felt very guilty. Oh, no, 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 I should not think like that. I should think positive for my big brother. No, after all, he is my big brother. Oh, my big brother. Uske mein acha sochna I should think good about him. And see, immediately he felt very guilty for such, such an unworthy thought. Okay, usko bura laga ke, what am I thinking? My big brother should fail. No, no, no. Rather, I should pray that my big brother should pass with good marks. But no, this thought came inside his mind that if by chance my big brother would fail one more time, then we will be in the same class. And suddenly, this thought uh, disappears and he starts feeling guilty. No, 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 I should not think like that. I should think think positive about my big brother. Now the big brother had changed. After failing for two times. And now there was only one class difference. Now the big brother changed. He talked very softly. He did not scold his uh, younger brother. But even, even if he had to scold his little brother, he scolded but without losing his temper. Like earlier, he used to lose temper and just go on scolding very roughly, very toughly, very hardly. But now he did not scold his uh, little brother like that. He scolded but, you know, uh, in a lump sum manner without losing his temper. Bina apna temper ko lose kiye, wo apne chote bhai ko gali deta. He like tried to make him understand now. Instead of scolding, he tried to make his younger brother understand. Now you see, the younger brother now took advantage of his elder brother's softness. Now obviously, the el elder brother became had become very soft. He started speaking very softly. So the younger brother now started taking advantage of Mera bara bhai, my big brother had failed. Now we have only one class difference. Ah, what is he going to do now? And now the younger brother played whole day. He flew kites whole day. But still, he respected his elder brother. Okay, this is truth. This is the truth that he respected his elder brother. He only took little advantage of his softness. Wo thora advantage utha tha apne elder brother ke softness ka. Kyunki uska elder brother jo hai, bara bhai jo hai, fail kar chuka tha. And ek class ka hi difference tha. To wo thora sa advantage lene laga. Wo pura din patang gurane laga, khelne laga. But respect to uska tha. He had respect for his uh, big brother. Now, one day what happened was that the younger brother was running after a kite trying to grab it. Wo patang cut jata hai na, when the kite uh, cuts loose. Okay, when the kite cuts loose, what happens? All boys start running. You know, the, the kite would be flying. You know? So all the boys would start uh, running after the kite trying to hold it. So this younger brother also started running after the kite to grab it. Okay. And oh, there were many other boys who were also running to catch the kite. You know, we often say, no, I, I hope more, most of you fly kites and there is a saying, Goodie goile, goodie goile, we say like that, no? right? If you if you are like if you have flown kites, okay. I I had flown kites a lot of 
uh, time when i was a kid un uncountable times when i was a kid okay and when a kite used to cut loose jab patang cut jata tha hum log cheekte the goodie goy le goodie goy le aise karke aur hum log daudte the we used to run after the kite trying to grab it okay to many other boys were also running to catch the kite and suddenly what happened this younger brother he collided with his big brother aur dakka lag gaya dono ka you know big brother was coming from this side younger brother was running after the kite and his head was up no because kite was fly, uh, flying on the top patang jo hai wo to upar ut raha tha ur raha tha okay so younger brother was actually looking and running looking and running and suddenly he collided with his big brother uske big brother ke sath uska dakka lag gaya tha and his big brother was returning from the market now you see what happened this this made the big brother very very angry uska bada bhai ab bahut gussa ho gaya Uh, and he started scolding the younger brother on the street itself ab raste pe hi on the street itself the big brother started scolding his little brother his younger brother now what was the scolding look at the scolding he scolded the younger brother for running after a one paisa kite and that too with other street boys to so, bada bhai jo hai big brother started scolding his younger brother telling him that you stupid boy ha eh? you are running a one are running after a one paisa kite kai, eh? and that too with this other street boys you are an educated boy and look at this street boys eh? you are running with them like those uh, street boys you don't have any shame at all you shameful boy and he told his brother that he was no more a kid and he was in higher class now he said that you are in class 8 now you are no more a class 4 5 boy that you will run after a one paisa kite like the street boy ha huh? have some self respect for yourself apne andar kuch self respect rakho hain eh? you are no more okay tum abhi bachche nahi ho tum ek higher class mein ho abhi you are in class 8 now hain eh? have self respect then he started blah 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 scolding and then the big brother started his lecture once again he had come back to his old form so for few days he was little soft the big brother was little soft but now again he came back to his old form and started giving a eh, the big big lecture like the blah 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 lectures okay and he scolded the younger brother saying that there was only one great difference this did not mean that the younger brother would do anything he wished obviously this is a fact the big brother said that see you and me we have only one class difference you are in class 8 i am in class 9 class difference great difference is only one but what about the age difference our age difference is still 5 years and don't forget that i am 5 years older i am still 5 years older than you than you so you it should not be that because we have only one class difference it does not mean that you will do anything and you will not respect me remember i am still 5 years older than you and you should respect me you cannot do anything you like you cannot do anything you like okay even if we have only one class difference and then now he started again he started his lecture he was still 5 years older than him and this difference even god cannot remove uh, look at the look at the level of lecture look at the level of scolding that the big brother is giving that i am 5 years older than you and this difference even god cannot remove i may fail once again we may be again we both may be in class 9 once again but what about the age difference it is going to be 5 years so and that difference even god cannot take away so respect now the big brother continued the big brother had a lot of experience he said that i have a lot of experience that you will never have that the younger brother will never have even if the younger brother had an ma master of arts masters degree or even a phd degree also still then the younger brother can never have the experience can never have that experience that knowledge that the big brother has कि चाहे तुम एम ए कर लो पी एच डी यू मे बी एन एम ए और यू मे यू नो डू पी एच डी बट स्टिल माई एक्सपीरियंस इज मोर देन योर एक्सपीरियंस देन ही वेंट ऑन टू बिग ब्रदर वेंट ऑन टू सेवर्स दिस पेरेंट्स इवन देर पेरेंट्स माइट नॉट बी सो एजुकेटेड बट दे हैड द राइट टू स्कोल्ड एंड करेक्ट दर सन्स मिस्टेक्स ये बात तो सच है दिस इज द ट्रूथ इवन पेरेंट्स यू सी मेनी ऑफ आर पेरेंट्स मे नॉट बी सो मच एजुकेटेड बट दे हैव एवरी राइट टू स्कोल्ड अस and if we make any mistake our parents have every right to rectify our mistakes to correct our mistakes this is what the big brother is telling that even if our parents are not educated but still they had the right to scold us and they have the right to rectify or correct our mistakes if we make any mistakes they have the right to correct it 
So the big brother advised him not to be proud of his achievements. Big brother told him straight that see little brother, don't be proud of your achievements. Never be proud that you stood first in the class. Okay, I am still elder. Our parents are there. We must respect them. Now he then showed his fist, uh, fist as if to punch him and warned him to rectify his behavior. Now the now the big brother was so angry that he said that next time if you do, you rectify your behavior. Okay. You rectify, you correct your behavior, otherwise this one, this one is there and he started showing his punch. Okay, otherwise I'll beat you if you don't rectify your behavior. And now the younger brother actually realized that I had made a mistake for not respecting my big brother. And now he started respecting his big brother even more. So the younger brother realized his mistake and respect for his big brother now grew inside his heart. Younger brother felt that my big brother was actually correct. I was too proud of my of the fact that I had stood first in the class and I was not giving respect to my elder brother just because he had failed. So he realized that I had not done it right. And respect for his big brother now started growing inside his heart. So now the younger brother had tears in his eyes. So with tears in his eyes, the younger brother now said sorry, apologized and said that his big said that his big brother was right in whatever he had said. So you see, younger brother, he realized his mistake and he said sorry to his big brother. He said, sorry, big brother, for my behavior, I will never repeat this mistake once again. And big brother, you are absolutely correct. Whatever you have said, uh, you are absolutely correct. You are still five years elder to me. I will respect you. I will respect our parents from now on. And now the big brother embraced him, you know, hugged him. Brotherhood you know. This brotherhood activated inside them, and the big brother hugged the younger brother and said that it was his duty to watch over his little brother, and that is scolded him for his good only. And that was his responsibility. So the big brother hugged him and said that, see, younger brother, I don't scold you because I like you to scold. Uh, because I like to scold you. It's not like that. See. I am the big brother. I have a responsibility towards you. You are my younger brother. And I scold you for your good only. I have a responsibility for you. responsibility because our parents are there in the village. And they are expecting a lot of things from us. And it is my responsibility to see that. Um, you know, to take care of you. It is my responsibility to take care of you. Tumara dekhbhal karna is responsibility. So, tumko bura lag sakta hai. Sometimes you may feel bad because I scold you. But I am doing this for your good only. And then they would hug one another and then the younger brother would say that okay okay brother now i will be absolutely uh, i mean i will rectify my behavior i'll be good now what happened just then when they were all like hugging and crying and all these things okay just then what happened a kite had been cut loose which passed over them and some boy ran after it so kya hua? Wo, wo look jab, you know they were crying and hugging one another another kite you see it cut loose it got cut and it was passing over their head and some boys were also running after it. Now, the big brother, obviously, he was tall. Suddenly, he caught hold of the kite and ran at top speed towards the hostel. Suddenly, there was a change in the character of the big brother. The big brother saw that uh, kite passing over. <coughs> I'm sorry. And the big brother, he was tall. He caught hold of the kite like that. And he ran at top speed towards the hostel. Pure zor se wo bhaga hostel ki tarah. And the younger brother was shocked. Kya ho gaya? My big brother just now, he was giving big, big lectures that you are running after a one paisa kite, you street boys and this. And now my big brother himself, he is running after the kite like those street boys. And the younger brother also started running after him. And here is where the story ends. Pe kahani aake ho the story ends here. Alright. Now this is a twist in the story. Now I had made a short analysis about this. You see in the story, the two big brothers are completely opposite to one another in both studies and basic natures. Now we see that in the story, the two big brothers are completely opposite to one another. Studies may be opposite, in studies also they are opposite. In basic nature also they are opposite. Right? The story teaches us to respect our elders. Obviously, the story teaches us to respect our elders a lot. Whether it is brother or father or parents or uncle or auntie, whoever. Whoever is elder to us, we must respect. The story also teaches us not to be proud. Like the big brother gave the example of Rabban. All right, the big brother, uh, the younger brother had become a little proud actually because he had stood first two times. Now, the ending of the story is quite unexpected. We had never expected this from the big brother that the big brother would run after the kite. 
hold the uh, you know grab the kite and run this we had never expected we means the readers had never expected okay now this ending of the story is quite unexpected because the big brother's act goes completely against his nature uska jo character hai nature hai ki wo ekdam serious hai studies mein he is serious with his studies he always give lecture he maintains a level standard and at the end you see he completely destroys that standard and runs up the uh, grab the kite and runs back to the hostel it's completely against his character his nature hai na perhaps now why it has happened perhaps the big brother thought that because he remained too occupied with studies but that did not yield any results now this could be one reason we don't know because the story ends very abruptly suddenly the story ends okay and this could be because you see the big brother would hold this sit with books and copies and pens and it seemed that he studied whole day but that did not yield him any result ultimately he failed so what is the use of those studies perhaps the big brother realized this that i study whole day but i fail my brother plays whole day but he stands first perhaps it is because of this reason that he did that act in the end of the story in fact he had neglected all enjoyments or re recreational activities obviously you see the big brother had neglected games and sports completely he neglected kinds of enjoyments recreational activities like watching television is sometimes very important whole day if you sit to study your brain becomes jammed so you should sometimes do recreational activities games and sports outdoor games indoor games watch television talk with the family members okay your brain becomes halka okay your brain comes at rest when you do this thing so the big brother obviously neglected all these things so he finally decided to experience the fun side of life too it could be that the big brother thought that i have neglected all games and sports enjoyments in life now let me also have little fun in life possibly the big brother might have thought like that okay so i hope you have understood the story very well and if there is anything um, that you did not understand feel free to comment me in the comment box okay so subscribe to the channel like and share my videos i will be bringing more videos of class 9 lessons and let me repeat once again that uh, from class 10 additional english and english i have completed all the lessons class 10 students of this year's batch please watch those explanations very very nicely you'll get a lot of help from there okay and check my playlists okay i always give my playlists in the description box always check the playlist okay so share my videos with your friends and tell them to subscribe also okay that's all with love from omnigan and all the best to all of you thank you i'm ending live